How important is religion to urban Indians? New survey offers answers. According to a recent survey by Ipsos, eight out of 10 urban Indians believe in God and embrace different faiths. The survey titled Global Religion 2023 Religious Beliefs Around the World was conducted in 26 countries, including India, and involved interviews with over 19,000 adults aged 18 and above. In India, 86% of urban respondents believe that religious practices were crucial for leading a moral life, and 83% feel that religion had, has helped them overcome life's challenges. Furthermore, 8 out of 10 urban Indians think that religious individuals are happier, and 86% believe that religion defines their identity. However, 73% of Indians feel that religion does more harm than good, surpassing the global average of 47%. Despite the rise of religiously unaffiliated individuals in countries like the United States, 99% of Indians identified with a religion, with only 1% being un unaffiliated. Unfortunately, the survey also highlighted that 73% of urban Indians lose respect for those who do not believe in a religion or God. Okay, what about the trend? How is it changing over time? Do we know that? Did you say that? Sorry. I actually didn't look at the results of the survey over time, so mm -hmm. I'm unfortunately not able to give you um, more insight about that. Yeah. Yeah. Were you surprised by how yeah. important this was rated for an urban population? Yeah, I mean, it's it's urban, so not that surprised, right? But well, I, I am more urban concerned. populations are usually more liberalized and less religious. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry, what am I saying? Um, yeah, wait a minute. I thought like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I got urban and rural, rural kind of switched in my mm. brain for some re for some reason. Yeah, urban. What the hell? I am now. Sh I am angry. I am now angry. What the hell? This <laughs> is the in urban areas. Like I, I was not properly shocked because I thought we were talking about the opposite of urban. Like in my mind, for some reason, it was the opposite in my mind. What the hell? <laughs> I was not properly angry. Now I am properly angry. What the hell is this, India? How is this that we're having? How, okay, you know, okay. How is it that in Iran we have such secular people ruled by a theocracy, and in India we have such unsecular people ruled by a supposedly secular government, at least in name? Well, because they're people living under a theocracy, and they hate it, and it's awful. So they're like, I don't yeah, want yeah. this goodbye <laughs> that's actually i armin that actually answers your question <laughs> yeah um let's look at some people from india and in the comments see if he see what people are saying yeah d is agreeing that the numbers were higher than i expected i this was also higher than higher. i expected as well that, this means that india got lucky with this constitution and its laws like because the people wanted like the, it doesn't reflect what the people want. Like it, the founding fathers of India are were ahead of the average people, you know. Um, Wishwa is puking from from India. Is puking about the state of his of his of his or her country. I'm sorry, and, guys. And uh, Newman also from India saying my morals are better than these guys. And Kenny, I don't know where Kenny is from, but Kenny is saying high numbers and sad newman from india is saying of course you guys have here because you make sure i am not religious what i don't know oh oh yeah okay okay that their response yeah. 97 percent of indians believe curry is delicious well i believe that um oxymoron is saying okay that's not relieving to me i don't know armin is broken any guys from india have any other takes from this <laughs> Oh, yeah. That delayed you reaction saying? you had was so funny. Yeah, <laughs> like I was, I was hearing something different. I was like, yeah, and I guess it's normal for, for like rural areas. I'm like, wait, Armin, no. You want to say, Armin? I live in India. Imagine how pissed I am. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't but believe. this is, I think, what's the most interesting of finding of this for me was that seventy three percent of urban Indians said that they lose respect for people who don't believe in religion or God, and. They are the only demographic who reported a majority who agree with the sentiment. 
and that's compared to only 14% of Americans hold that opinion and 10% of Japanese who say that they lose respect for people over, they lose respect for non-religious people. So it's like Amazing. so much higher. You know what? You know what? Let's let's look at the silver lining. Okay, that means that we here at Atheist Republic, we have a lot to do. Okay, again, we have been blocked in India on Twitter. We have been blocked in India on Facebook. We had used to have a huge reach in India. Okay, huge reach. Atheist Republic is responsible for making the word atheist trend for the first time in India. True. So that's on our. That's why they had to block us in India because we were too dangerous. We're the, we're the first time atheism has been brought up and the Supreme Court of the entire country in India, Atheist Republic, had made that happen. That's Wait, why we are, blocked is that in India. true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, well, I mean, at least a file against atheists. So I'm a case against atheists, right? So because we have secularism but not atheism, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, okay, let me be more clear. Our case was brought all the way to the Supreme Court of India. So at least we know that for sure. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the High Court of New Delhi. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have made history in India. And now they're trying to block us from India. So if this YouTube channel grows, this YouTube channel will be our avenue back into India. So make that happen, guys. Recommend this YouTube channel to as many people in India. Okay. Because we're not going to, India might want to kick us out of there, but we're not, we're not going to stay out. We're not going to stay out. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna come. We're gonna find our way back in somehow. <laughs> so we have. You can see, guys. You can see India needs us. You can see that India, based on these numbers, atheist. Uh, you know, we we are needed in India. So you know, introduce us to your your fellow friends. By the way, I do recognize that there are already many many atheist activists in India. Okay, I'm kind of joking, right? But we could work with them, right? Because we were. We were partnering, you know, uh, even though we are, and when we say Atheist Republic is needed in India, we're talking about our own local consulates because we are, Atheist Republic is not this foreign entity. Our consulate is in India, our Indian run, you know, they are local. Atheist Republic in India is a local thing because it's self-made by Indians for Indians in India. Check out our consulates, link in the description. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.